All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Drunken Monkey Gaming Channel. This is Cold Blooded here, playing Black Myth Wukong. Uh, last episode, we beat the Tiger Vanguard boss. Uh, then we traveled around, uh, picked up a bunch of chest materials. I really can't remember what everything that we did. Had a good time. Beat some enemies. Died. Died, of course. Uh, a couple of things that I remember picking up was this thing right here. This legendary item. It's rare. Uh, says rare material. Uh, Lugia, fragrant vine. Uh, this vine, as it says in the description, can be used for gourd upgrades. We have two of them. I think I kind of mentioned that you take it back to a monkey from that you meet in the first chapter. Uh, and he gives you the vine upgrade. So we're going to go do that right... Or the gourd upgrade, sorry. Uh, we're going to go do that right quick. So I'll show you what that where that is. Hello? Oh, I'm not even in front of it. Uh. Oh, oh. After I... After I stopped recording, I, kind of, I remembered I switched my... Control scheme. So... It's more like Elden Ring, where L1 is the light attack. L2 is the heavy attack, but I'm going to switch it back. I don't know why I did it. I think I just did it. I think I just did it to see what the what the setting was. So yeah, we're going to switch this back to type A. And we are going to go... We're going to travel to the Blackwind Mountain, Chapter 1, Bamboo Grove, and we're going to go to the Marsh of the White Mist. So you save this, you save this monkey, he was hanging from a tree uh, with an enemy like kind of threatening him, scaring him, whatever. You beat the enemy, it's, it's just a regular style enemy. Uh, for that area. You beat him, he jumps down from the tree and runs into a cave. So we're gonna go to that cave right now. Oh yeah, also last... Yeah, last episode we got the spell which is R2 plus X. Uh, it's called a pluck of many. You basically pluck a hair of your skin. Or sorry, you pluck a piece of your hair. And it causes a bunch of uh, clones of yourself. That attack... Um, and it attacks the uh, enemies around the map or boss, whatever. <clears throat> so this here is, I can't remember his name, but it's the Gourd Monkey. Where there's drink, all is bliss. Without it, the highest court is a cage. Huh. So we can go from five to six sips or drinks, whatever you want, however you want to say it. Now you can finally drink deep and full. Aha! So the next one to go to seven is going to be two of those wines. All right, done here. Let's see what he has in the store, which I think is only one thing. Yeah, he only has. Yeah, he only has that. And we already got it. Drink, drink. It can lead to now we'll go travel back. Oh, you can also fast travel back to a shrine. Uh, it is called. It is this right here, the Incense Trail Talisman. Uh, you automatically start with it once you start the game. Uh, you can either hit it through the window, uh, through this menu. I put it in a uh, quick spot where you hold. R2, and then I got it to the right D-pad. So basically, you, you hold R2, and then you push right on the D-pad, and it'll take you back to the last shrine that you visited. Or unlocked, or rested at, or what have you. It's pretty convenient, if you will. So 
look at the store right quick too. So when you start the game, or when you start a chapter, there, uh, each chapter I've seen so far has different items in the store. When I first started, this one that sold out down here wasn't originally in the first chapter. When I got to chapter two, uh, when I, I can't remember what I picked up, but I came back here. I think it was, I can't remember what it was, but I came back here and all of a sudden this thing was here. So I, I got it cause it's a, it's a pretty good curio. It just, when you put it on or when you equip it, it gives you con uh, considerably increases your maximum st stamina, which is really helpful <clears throat> in early games when your, your stamina is lower. Uh, helps out in boss fights and whatnot, but I'm just looking to see if there's anything spectacular. Nope, nothing too much, just ingredients. So we'll travel back to... Oh crap, where were we? Okay, that's the rock guy. Alright, okay. We're gonna go here first, because there's something I want to buy. I was talking to a friend that's also playing this game. And he said, was it this guy or is it the store? We'll look at the store too. So this chapter store, if you will, has, see, different things, different medicines, uh, different materials, like you can buy silk here, Yalgai cores, <coughs> excuse me, different ingredients, but my friend said that I should pick these up, even though there's only two. <coughs> Not that much. As you see, I have over almost uh, 30.5k will. So I have more, way more than enough that I can buy this. He said these are really important and when I get to a point in the game, I will know why. He said, just make sure you have them. Uh, what we're going to do though, is we're going to go look for, if I remember where he is, I think he's over here. This way. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Go this way. Under the bridge. Oh, my friend also said to pick up licorice. <laughs> said always make sure you pick up licorice. <clears throat> if, even if you don't think you don't need it. But I pick up anything that I can. So this guy actually gives you your second transformation, which, come on. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'll pick up this one. Uh, gives you your second transformation, which is this. I might have to go to a, uh, back to a shrine to show you. But anyways, so the transformation I do where I can do the flaming double bladed thing. This guy gives you a second one, which you turn into a big rock. Which I haven't used yet, but I, re I read it and all that good things. Uh, in the menus when, when I was like scoping out everything. But let's see if he's got anything that, that we can purchase. Why are we selling it to no one if it wasn't for you? See, that would be a good soak. Ooh, that would be good for farming if you're looking for monies. So I already got this. And that's, I'm guessing there's a, I've met the drunken pig. And I already got one of these, as you can see, number held one. So I don't need to buy this. Don't know what this is going to be for, but... It's kind of expensive, so I'm going to hold off. Make sure you fetch more will next time. Yeah, whatever. So 
we're gonna fast travel. So we're gonna fa uh, we're gonna use the shrine to fast travel to where the pig is at, or where the pig's close by. Uh, travel. And yes, the pig is over this way. Now if I can remember exactly where he's at. I think I do. Uh... So in chapter one, there's a waterfall. Oh no. Is it this way? Let's go this way. Might take me a second to find him. Are you following me? Yeah, you're following me. Leave me alone. This is where I fought the two rock monsters. Uh, I don't think it's this way. Nope. Wait a minute. No, it's not this way. Of course, I went the wrong way. That's right. You meet the you meet the pig before you fight the monsters. That's what it was. That was like three days ago now. So I hope everyone's enjoying their Labor Day weekend. I am. Been cleaning my house. <laughs> I know. Right. What a way to spend your Labor Day weekend. Oh, you... Oh, you son of a gun. of your shield, fool. Ah! You hit like a truck. Why did I fight you? Use. Oh, now you got me lost. Oh, this is where the pig is, I think. Yep. Pig's over here. Pig, where'd you go? Oh, wrong button. Don't worry, I know where the pig's at. He's right here. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. Ugh. You should eat more, skinny. Off we go to the Temple of Crouching Tiger. I must quench this rumbling in my... The Temple of... Alright, you're just repeating yourself? Uh, so we gotta go back to the... What do we call it? The, te the temple where we fought the tiger last episode. Or where we beat the tiger. That's where we're gonna go. So we'll fast travel back to the shrine. I think that automatically fills up your health when you do the fast travel.
We'll find out. I can never remember. Yep, it does. So he said he's going to go to the temple. Let's go see if we can find the now sober pig. Actually, he's got tusks. Wouldn't he be considered more of a boar? Ah, uh, don't overthink it. So there's like a couple different ways you can sprint. You can hold R1 and sprint, or you can push down the left stick. And sprint. What's this? Oh, some ginseng? Steel ginseng? Drinks and soak? What is this? What is this? Upon using the gourd, instantly gains a moderate amount of focus. Wow. That is freaking cool. So these are the drinks. So this is the one I'm currently using. This one, you gain 20% of your maximum health and then you get 25% uh, more of your maximum health at like, it's a slow build up after. To me, it's not worth it. I haven't tried it, but it just doesn't seem worth it. Especially in the boss fight where sometimes they can be relentless on your ass. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. No. Oh. Where's the pig? So I did not know picking up or gathering certain plants will give you a, a soak. Oh, here's the pig. First before we talk to him. Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. <laughs> Help me score a tasty treat. Drive me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Well, you're just so... You're in luck, buddy. I've been collecting that stuff since chapter one. Here you go. Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Mm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Mm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the Yellow Wind Guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Hmm. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rat qua. It's people. Ah, uh, see? Mm. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Okay. So... Where would that be? I wonder. Huh. 
don't understand. Alright, so this is where we originally started. Uh, is it where we were? No, this isn't where we started. I think this is where we started. What is this? I don't know. There's some secrets somewhere, that's for damn sure. Oh, hidden boss, or hidden enemy. Woohoo! Let's go! I want to go back to where the cave system's at. That's what I want to do. I think this is it. What are we going to do? Where's... Is this the cave I'm looking for? Where'd you go? annoying. You are annoying. It's a reason why I'm looking for the caves. Because there's a place I think it's here. All right. Oh. I also wanted to show you. Oh, son of a bitch. Go 
Go, monkeys. Go, my drunken monkeys. Bye, monkeys. So... Go back and recover my... My stuff. Oh, and I think I remember an easier way back to that... To that part. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Get out of here. And I keep messing up. I've been want I want to do something at the shrine. But I'm not fast traveling because I'm not gonna rest. I get so turned around in this game. Sometimes it's ridiculous. Well, I guess that's why they didn't give you a map. been using that wolf i like it i just like so far i like this one a little bit better this transformation a little bit better it turned into a big head a big head boy and with the big head boy you headbutt somebody i kind of like that better than a charge i mean it's one attack but it's funny and cool so down here can use something and I had I didn't want to use it because I was so busy and I think when I came to this place there was late or again late for me so I was like I don't know what this is gonna be can't jump down there but what Oh, I already beat your dad and your brother. <laughs> he broke right through that. Dance. All right. Your 
are slow. Oh, I missed? You're on fire. Let's go. Two times. Boom! Get them, drunken monkeys. Get them. Come here. Get them, monkeys. Beat them. Okay. Now that spells OP right now. Give me. What do you give me? Our hat gold piece. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Who are you shooting at, Tex? Something about that boss. My friend that I was talking to also said... I think... Let's try this. I think he said we can break this wall. No? Wait a minute. I know he said we could break that wall. I think he said... If we don't get the rat to do it. Oh. We'll go back to this shrine. I didn't know that was where the rat boss was going to be. I just knew you could use something. But you beat that guy, that big rat boss's dad and his brother, the second rat prince. It's a very interesting fight. It was fun, but very, very interesting. And in fact, they talk about they talk about the other guy that we or that I just beat. But you don't really they don't really tell you where he's at. They just say he's somewhere. So I guess we found him. Come here. Alright, so you can break the wall. Sorry, my mind's all over the place. Been busy. Got a, I've been having a lot going on in my life. A lot. A lot, I say. A lot. So what is this? Is there a boss in here? 
No. A chest. Who's that guy? Kinda resembles... Is that the gentleman that helped us give... So when you first start the game, you're gored. How I've been using it to absorb those blue spirits. And then when I collect the will, every time I... Some, or not every time, because there, there are some will spots. The green, the green little glowing things. When you collect them, they give you refills on your... Like maybe one, maybe two um, sips of your gourd. Where the blue ones always fill up your gourd. When you first start the game, you can't... You can't absorb uh, the blue spirits, and when you collect the will, you can't, if it gives it to you, you can't gain sips back. You meet this one guy in the first chapter, and he blesses your gourd, which gives you that ability. But what is this? Long scales? Okay, and then, yeah, we got this drum last one, too. What does this drum do? Fade still holds sway. Their glory. And then where'd the pig go? Did I just screw up? Should I have listened to that? I probably should have listened to that. Might have been a clue. Oh crap. Alright. Well, I didn't get no stinking reward for the pig. Miss me. So, uh, I really don't think that. Oh, that's why I went back and found the back scratcher. So you find a thing, it's called the Awakening. Miss me. Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta kiss me. Uh, nope, this way. You... You find this thing where I was just at, and there's a glowing jar, kind of like where I found this... Kind of something similar to what I found the sobering stone in for the pig. Uh, you break it, it's called. Is it a worm or something? But that. The awakening worm, is that what it's called? But that thing increases the potency of your gourd. That's, that's what it was. So I found that worm thing back in the cave and I took it back to the monkey and he turns your. He turns this thing, the five-year, or it, actually, it was a three-year-old before I found the one in the cave, and he turned it into a five-year gourd, which I think the three-year gourd, or three-year coconut wine, uh, was 36% of your maximum health, but, all right, I just wonder... Where would the pig go? 
that's taken gold something his brother I honestly have no idea where to go. We're hitting about 40 minutes and I have absolutely done nothing but beat a boss and talk to a drunken pig twice. For what deed must his head be hung with gold? For what deed? What is that? Wait a minute. For what deed must his head be hung with gold? What deed must the waters they go and grow okay. free? For what deed must all matters not know? You're getting louder. For what deed must mercy's hand so woe upon thee? For what deed must ah! the fears like sands now be? Whoa. Evade your might unbound. And victory is surely found. You son of a gun. Okay, so that little icon by that, we'll call it a sandfall, that wasn't there the last time I checked it out. I can't remember if it was on video or not. And that was the same voice of when I was in that cave. And this sandfall reminds me of the waterfall in the first chapter, but you couldn't do nothing. But when you walked up to the, yeah, when you walked up to the waterfall, I think it did this too. Like, you can't. So I wonder if that item we got in that cave does something with that. Ah ha ha. Well, we're going to go rest. And I'm going to blaze past that buffoon that hit me. Excuse me. And see if I can get in there before he attacks me. Because I do not know what's behind there. Alright. Let's go. Run, monkey, run. Yeah, see? Alright. You're getting louder. Run, monkey, run. Run, monkey, run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Must from streams into sands now flee. Resonant waves profound, pulsing through the ground. Evade their might unbound, and victory is surely found. Okay. Alright, I have no idea what's behind this door. I have a feeling it could be a boss. Just because that would be my luck. And knowing this game that I have come to, even though I'm in chapter two, there is a lot of random bosses. I have 13 sparks. Before we go in there, I can't awaken it? Oh, wait a minute. I need this, don't I? What is this? The second move of light attack combo. Why can't I awaken it? Because I need this. Oh, why have I not opened that up yet? I'm definitely getting that one.
Oh. Cool thing about this game is you can reset your sparks all at once, or you can do it individually. I think I'm going to take this one off. Oh, I only need one more to get four focuses. No. I'll get this one. I haven't really messed with the thrust stance, even though I got it, but now I can do four focuses. So that's why I did that. I wanna see something too. Oh, I spin faster, sweet. <clears throat> All right, let's see what this is. So I'm assuming since that voice was the same voice that was in the cave where I got those long scales, <clears throat> this has something to do with that. What is this? It's cool, that's for sure. That's gonna be a thumbnail. Yes, that's gonna be a thumbnail. Snap. Yep. Alright. Okay, how do you attack? Oh, snap. Oh! <laughs> Oh! 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 I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Oh, you just get put here? So am I going to be stuck here, or can I leave? Okay, you can leave. Oh, you hit so evil. That's unfair. Yeah, that is way unfair. You cheat. You hit hard. Oh! I might not be ready for this guy.
I'll give it one more chance before I go looking for the pig. Yeah, we're gonna... I think... This guy... We'll put the wolf back on. Dude! When he jumps towards you, ju Jump! Nope. Yeah, let's go look for the pig for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna call it quits. That was just silly. All right, so I wonder if the waterfall, I wonder if the waterfall does the same thing. Run, monkey, run. take back this one yeah we'll just leave it like that Let's go look for this pig. We're in this area, so we'll... Come here, buddy. Good 
Night. I'll go the long way. Let's check this, because this is only one little area right here. No way. What? Why are you trying to fight me? Son of a gun! Oh! Trying to throw dust in my eye? Ooh! Yeah, guess what? You're done, watch. Okay. Get greedy. What an excellent fight! The intensity! <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. I What? Oh. Okay. Okay. And I got new headgear. Okay. I did not it was going to be that easier to easy to find the pig. I knew that we had to find him because he didn't give us a reward for giving him that lotus root and I knew that that couldn't be that early or Easy of a side quest. Okay, that's a cool mask. What do you do? After using the gourd, Martley increases attack. Refraining from using gourd for a relatively long duration, Martley reduces attack. Yeah, not worth it. <laughs> hey, where'd this come from? When did I get this? Don't know when I got that. But cool. All right. So what is this? We're approaching the hour mark of the video. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell 
harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own ends. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongued monk using the new power and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Gwai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, Tung Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Wow. That was a badass cutscene. That's for freaking sure. Just drops you off in a cave. Shrine. All right. Nope. 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 I was just trying to get a peek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buying you general weapon material. Buying you. Might as well buy you too. I'll farm Will if I have to. I don't want any more licorice. Because I'm going to go farming that. Because I know you can pick up a bunch of that around... Around chapter 2. I'll spend time off camera doing that. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see that Singret ah uh, Singret <laughs> Secret Kingdom of Sahali Sahali Halai Sah uh, I'm not even going to do that Makes me wonder. That makes me wonder. I'll do one more thing. So, oh, oh, oh. I wonder. I wonder so where I'm traveling to so that last area I was at was a secret area 
and this is a secret area of chapter one and through there you fight you fight a secret boss this area this secret area is not big it's just this area and up there and up there right up there yeah up up there is a, was a secret boss you beat him when you beat him you're done with the secret area <clears throat> and you get the mantle or uh, I think it's a mantle or a fire mantle and that's what pushing or holding R2 plus pushing the L stick you when you do that when you do that you, you do this and this grants you focus slowly as you see it, my focus is building up in the lower right hand but uh, I'm also resistant to fire and fire attacks but what I noticed is in that secret area, the store was different. And when I was here, I didn't check the store here. Oh, so you can buy, oh, okay. So the stores are different in the secret areas, now that I'm seeing this. Just buy this. I want that. Alright. Enough of this. Uh, this video just went over uh, just over an hour almost an hour and ten all right all right well we found the secret area of uh, chapter two and we also found another secret boss which He's a beast. Long. Long. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. So until next time, peace.